In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my keyword tool and how it compares to other keyword tools. I'm going to be showing you just how good it actually is and how interesting it is to use as someone who has zero experience in SEO. So the idea behind my SaaS, if you don't know, Harbor, I'm trying to make it possible for anybody to automate their SEO and grow their website. So we've got a researcher, a writer, and a linking tool. The researcher basically gives you your ideas for the month. So if you are a, if you're the content um, creator for your website, or if you just want to grow your own website, or if you're trying to grow a client website, or whatever it might be, there are millions of keyword tools out there, but there are none that work like Harbor. The way Harbor works, and I'll go through everything else on Harbor as well, but the way Harbor actually works in terms of keyword tool is that it uses logic instead of data, right? So there are kind of two schools of keyword research. There is logical keyword research and there is data-driven. Most people do data-driven uh, keyword research. What does that mean? They go on you know, Google Ads Keyword Planner, Ahrefs, they look for a keyword and they make sure it has at least 1,000 searches per month and you know whatever. Now, something that I noticed very early on with this type of keyword research is that it has a problem, which is people don't understand keywords. So let's just take any keyword. Let's just say black jeans, right, as a keyword. Now, black jeans itself probably has, you know, 100,000 searches, let's say. So what people do is they say, oh, well, black jeans has 100,000 searches. So that's a good keyword, right? But then let's say, let's say you looked up like black, um, I'm trying to think of an example in my head, but it, it, it's not quite as easy as you might think. So back, black jeans um, with rip, right? And let's say, a lot of people don't say with rip, right? They say ripped jeans. So most people say black ripped jeans. So people see that this only has zero to 10 searches, right? And they say, oh, this is a bad keyword, right? But the thing is, people, what people don't understand is that, you know, if you rank for black jeans with rip, you'll probably also rank for ripped black jeans. And then all the other variations of that, you know, one, two, three, four, all the way down to 1000, right? One single keyword can have literally millions of variations, right? And let's say Rip Black Jeans has 100,000 searches per month. If you're using Ahrefs specifically, and you're, you know, maybe you're not a native English speaker, or maybe you just don't know what the term is for black, black, uh, Rip Black Jeans. So you find Black Jeans with Rip, and you see it's zero to 10, and you say, well, that's a bad keyword. That's not true. It's not a bad keyword. It's just that specific phrase match keyword isn't how people search for something. On the other hand, if you had stumbled across ripped black jeans, you would have said this is a good keyword and you would have made an article or created a page about that. So the way that we do keyword research with Harbor instead is we do logical based keyword research. So what does that mean? We, if you want to know how this actually works, we generate a business summary. We generate pillar pages relevant to that business summary, and then we generate sub pillar pages relevant to uh, those pillar pages, right? And I'll show you exactly how that works in just a moment. Um, and we'll actually do a test on it as well. But I wanna show you the update that we've done to Harbor and why I'm making this video today. So what you can actually now do, it's because it's capitals, right? Yeah. What you can now do is you can actually take all of your blogs, right? I'm gonna use something called um, Sitemaps Clipboard, which I haven't used in bloody ages. So we'll just press start here. Um, and what that should actually do is it should copy all of my blogs. I'm just gonna jump on over to Harbor and there are all my blogs here. And I'm just gonna say at the very top of this, these are all my current blogs. Do not repeat any of these, right? This is why this update is so good because now we can get completely unique keywords from for my website, right? So previously what Harbor was doing was it would it would quite often just generate the same keywords every single time, right? So I'm, I've been working on that. Um, and then the writer itself is honestly, I absolutely love the writer. Um, we get a lot of positive comments about the writer. The actual words you might, you, you can probably argue the actual words used aren't necessarily you know, the best words, but in terms of ranking content, 
you know, it's got the title, it's got the highlights, it's got the titles, it's got the images which are clickable. It's normally got internal links. This one looks like it. Oh, there are some internal links here. There are internal links here, everything, right? And then there's even infographics, which nobody else was doing at the time when we made Harbor. I'm sure people have copied us now. Um, but I'm gonna give you a few secrets away in this video, so don't worry about that. If you don't wanna get my SaaS, that's totally fine. You'll be able to do most things yourselves as well. The final part of Harbor is the linker. For now, anyway, we're gonna add something called Scout soon as well, which I'll talk about another time. Um, Harbor is being actively worked on. We have four developers that we're paying every single month. So I don't want people to think this has been forgotten about. It's just, I, I didn't want to push it constantly on the channel because it just kind of felt a bit shit, to be honest with you. But yeah, the linker, what it'll do is you can just put your website here, find guest post prospect, and it'll, uh, try your, it'll try its best to find backlink opportunities according to your website. Now backlinks are kind of this dark magic that I do not understand personally. If you're the same as me and you have no idea what you're doing with backlinks, feel free to go on the link here, press configure now, and you can start with 375 euros a month. This is actually enough for a small e-com brand as well if you're just doing like one product or, you know, you, you're not trying to get to a million in sales in the first year or whatever. This is enough to give you that initial boost that a lot of people are missing to get out of the Google sandbox as soon as possible, right? But you can scale this all the way up. You know, it's totally up to you guys. If you want backlinks um, done by our agency, feel free to just sign up um, through Harbor like I just showed you. But anyway, that being said, let's go back to um, here. Okay, so this has now completed. This is what I absolutely love about this keyword tool. Obviously, it's my own keyword tool, so I would say that, but honestly, I, I'd send this to any client that we work with. I just send them an output from Harbor, and all I've ever heard is wow, right? So as you can see, the way this works, best suits for business professionals, right? So there are millions of keywords behind this. And there's actually a way for me to show you this. If I go on Google Ads tools, this is the data part of this. I, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing you that this exists. And if you do want to check Harbor keywords completely for free and make sure they're actually good, then this is the way to do it. So what you do is you take the main words from the keyword, right? So um, business suits, for example, right? This is what we're trying to rank for. We're trying to rank for business suits. So you can see, probably, not always, but there will be millions of, well, not millions, but thousands of keywords underneath here, right? And if you want, there's another stage to this that you can actually do. You can press this button here and then press copy, and then you can actually give those to the writer or however you're writing content, right? So you can do it here. You can just add the keywords here and say, try and use these keywords in the... Uh, titles. Now, obviously, this says women's as well. So you'd have to, you can change this by removing women's like that. And then you can just get these ones here. And then you can feed that to your, you know, however you're writing content, right? So you can just see how powerful this actually is. This is a keyword that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily have found on my own. I probably would have found this one on my own. But there are many on here that you wouldn't have found on your own. Trust me, this is probably one of the only ways of actually finding some of these keywords. So you can just press next here. Um, okay, optimal care for luxury cashmere sweaters, not bad. Top trends in Italian menswear, you've changed that to 2025, obviously, but that's fine. Best luxury cashmere sweaters for men is always a good one. If we just do luxury cashmere sweaters on here, luxury cashmere sweater, and just press enter, you'll see again, literally, you know, 10,000, 20,000 a month worth of clicks or worth of searches right here, which is absolutely crazy. Right, press next, top tailored suits for business professionals, another good keyword, discover stylish accessories for every outfit, fine. Explore elegant outerwear for winter fashion, luxury sneakers for trendy casual looks, best cashmere fabrics for suits. So it looks like we just changed to suits. So I know it's not, we changed to fabrics. So a lot of these will be about fabrics, as you can see here, because we're now in the fabric, um, in, in the fabric pillar, right? So these are all about fabrics. Optimal fabrics for summer casual wear. So uh, fabrics for summer, right? This is kind of the, the base keyword. You can see best shirt material, linen shirts for hot weather, all of that good stuff. So again, you can just click here, press copy, and then you can even press the button here that says send to writer, right? Put the keywords here and say at the top, you can just say, um, for example, Try and use keywords, 
right? And then you can just press generate content. So that'll then go ahead and generate the content. Now, if you actually go on my archive as well and go on topic scaler, or sorry, the site seeker, um, you can download all here. So we're not gatekeeping here. I mean, the software costs 29 bucks a month. It's really not that much money um, to get access to all of these really, really strong features. Now, in terms of what we're going to be working on very, very soon, I'm going to actually show you this on the dev. You won't be able to use the dev, guys. This is just for my own, not for my personal use. This is for the, the development team use, not for not just for me, obviously. So, I mean, you can go on dev.harborseo.ai, but you won't have an account, so that there's nothing you can do on it. But we've got this thing called the Rework and Reblogger. What this basically is going to do is it's going to take either an existing blog and copy the tone, um, but rewrite it about a different keyword, or take an existing blog and rewrite the blog using Harbor's writing system. So adding images, adding infographics, adding internal links, adding all that good stuff, and just rewriting the topic, right? Or rewriting around that topic. So this is the rework and reforger. This is coming out very, very soon. This is just what we've been working on. And then also I did mention previously the scout. What the scout will do is it will basically, you'll give it your five competitors or we'll just find your five competitors for you because it's getting to the point now where I can basically do anything with AI and decision making. And we will follow your, um, we will follow both trending topics and your competitors in the niche and we'll give you um, topic suggestions, page suggestions and you know PR suggestions and things like that. So yeah, that is basically the update that I wanted to show you. This is a 29 euro, sorry, $29 a month tool. I believe for that $29 you get four generations of the site seeker um, and it shouldn't just keep giving you the same topics anymore because you should be able to filter out those topics uh, using the, the the instructions box right here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.